welcome once again. Let's talk about politics and governance. And sometimes cities are using citizen voices to build their brands. And I have invited Francisco Cristofol to tell us how in Huelva and Spain, uh, how the city involved residents to create an authentic brand for its digital presence. So Francisco will tell us more about uh, the process, the strategy, and how these fostered community pride and a sustainable future. Francisco, welcome to our episode. Hi, how are you? So your study mixes future generations and place branding, so which is a field and explored so far, am I right? Yeah, uh, it's a uh, field that we in Spain have like two big experts, like my friends and colleagues Jordi and Xavi, with uh, are part of who are part of this of this paper. Uh, they are great experts. I'm kind of disciple, and I have been professor with them in their postgraduate. And it's a field that um, there is a lot about the field because it's a multi the players feel we have uh, politics we have communication we have brand uh, building we have a lot of uh, public and private policies so it's a big field that uh, it touches a lot of fields in, in this way and what would you say so in the specific case of your study what would you say that is the most important findings or highlights of the study well uh, first of all, uh, I told about Jordi de San Eugenio and Xavi Ginesta, and as I told you, they are great experts in place branding. As well, our fourth member of the team, Javier, is a communications professional, mm -hmm. and he was the guy who led us to study in the uh, case like Welba. So we had work in this case, thanks to, thanks to Javier. Uh, in this way, the study revealed like four key findings um, or three key findings, sorry. First of all, the importance of youth participation, as you, told be as you told before, one of the most significant findings was the crucial role that younger generations, specifically in our paper, Millennials and Generation Z, generation the, the, the role that they play in the creation of a place brand narrative. Uh, their active participation bring fresh perspectives and innovative ideas that are essential for developing a brand that resonates with current and future trends. So that's the first key finding. The second one is the political cooperation. In these times that we are always talking about uh, polarization and this uh, kind of violent, in, violent uh, environment in politics, this study highlights the importance of cooperation between different political groups to, in this way, to ensure the, the continuity and effectiveness of the brand beyond a single political term. In this case, in Huelva's case, the transition of political power did not hinder the progress of the brand because both mayor from Social Democrats and Popular Party, um, they both uh, recognized its value and worked together to maintain this momentum. And the third key finding, I think, is that it's an unique and original identity. I mean, Huelva was identified as a an unique and original city, uh, combining its rich historical heritage with a modern approach focused on co-creation and, and citizen participation. This duality helps to create a distinctive brand that differentiates Huelva from other cities on the environment here in Andalusia or, or in the rest of, of Spain uh, to both residents and outsiders visiting tourists. Uh, I assume following up on that, I assume that by involving involving citizens, especially younger generations who are mm -hmm. uh, digitally more active, the brand is more likely to have a strong online presence and stay relevant in the long run. So there are apparently lessons here to policymakers and politicians uh, with the results of this study. Uh, well, uh, the finding uh, of this study can have significant impact for four areas. Mm -hmm. I think is the 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 principal. Uh, the, sorry, the main the main finding. Firstly, as you told, in public policies, because the results highlight the importance of citizen 
participation in the creation of place brands. So public policies can incorporate mechanisms of active participation, especially from younger generations, to ensure that branding strategies truly, truly reflect the values and aspiration of the community. So that's a, um, one of the four areas uh, on our um, findings or focus. The second one is in institutions and organizations, uh, some of these uh, impact, can the, the institutions can use the these findings to foster a culture of co-creation and collaborating among different stakeholders and this is not only this not only improves the relevance and sustainability of place brands but also strengthens the social cohesion and cohesion and sense of belonging among citizens the third one is focusing local companies that can benefit from a strong and well-developed place brand that attracts talent, investment, and of course, tourism. Uh, they, the, the local companies can align their marketing strategies and corporate social responsibility with the city's brand narrative, uh, making or finding collaboration opportunities with the government, with the government, government and local community. And the last one, I think is the most important, by my point of view, are the individual decisions. I mean, for citizens, a positive and a participatory place brand can, can increase local pride, community identity, mm -hmm. and this can influence their decision to stay in the city actively. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, citizens can participate in local initiatives like this specific one and develop the the place branding and promote their city, our city or their mm -hmm. city, sorry, uh, within their professional and personal networks. Okay, perfect. And what's ahead of us to study more case studies or uh, you mentioned uh, this also in the article, the inclusion of older generations or comparing with older generations. So what's ahead of us to study? What's ahead? Um, I think that the, um, well, I, I go back because I believe the main achievement is identifying a starting point to ensure that the participate the participation of younger generation creates more consistent brand. So a good balance between residents of different ages is essential. But for bio biological reasons, younger people tend to think about the city in a more um, current way without nostalgia. Um, I'm not sure if this is entirely positive but i think it helps to look more toward the future on the other hand on the other hand about your question while developing the, the paper we realized that after implementing a place branding strategy in a city of this size its continuity is usually not monitored so this is something that we include in the conclusions because there's no point in developing an excellent brand if its effectiveness is not measured, if not measured afterward. Okay, of course. Uh, I'm in interested to know personally, I'm uh, using my mm. privilege as moderator now, uh, to know because you mentioned that initiatives like this create some community spirit mm -hmm. among citizens, you know, and I would like to ask, um, in your opinion, what mechanisms can be put in place to permanently ensure uh, that these younger generations have a cons consistent voice? Uh, in decision making and also if you could share with us you know your own personal reflections about the findings so what struck you the mm. most what, what, what struck me the most is uh, about the findings was the depth of commitment and passion of the younger generation especially millennials and generation Z, uh, toward their city i mean their desire to actively participate in the brand creation process and also their ability to bring fresh and relevant ideas uh, that was uh, truly inspiring, not for us in, in our paper, but for Lugadero, the, the, the company that develops all the, all the place brand. Mm -hmm. uh, this highlights the importance of including young voices in decisions that affect the future of their communities. Um, a new question that arose from the research is how to maintain this interest and active mm -hmm. participation of this generation over the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, while we managed to involve them in the initial stage of brand creation, talking about Dugadero, it is crucial to find ways to keep 
um, to keep them engaged and ensure they continue to be active ambassadors for the for the city's brand. As a final reflect, as a final um, reflection, uh, it's about the research, or sorry, about the research is the potential of co-creation. We talk a lot about co-creation and intergenerational collaboration mm -hmm. uh, in place branding. I mean, the combination of experience and knowledge of older generation with the innovation and digital perspective of younger generation can result in a much more robust and sustainable branding strategy. That's a perfect case. The Huelva, uh, the Huelva is the perfect case because this collaborative approach not only enhances the city's brand, but also strengths the social fabric by fostering a sense of creative community and belonging among its habitants. I mean, uh, this process uh, like link all the uh, generations and new generations like millennials and Gen Z. Yes, well, the reflections are very on point and asking the, the questions that were uh, raised. So if you could close this episode, Francisco, uh, saying in no more than two sentences a punchline for this episode, what would it be? Well, first sentence, um, the active participation of younger generation is crucial for creating a robust and sustainable place brand, not only for Huelva, for every single place brand. And the second sentence is their involvement of new generation combined with the cooperation of different political groups can ensure the brand's continuity and effectiveness, fostering a strong sense of community and belonging. Thank you, Francisco. You're welcome. Uh, for those who are watching us on YouTube, uh, the study, uh, the city of Huelva that um, Francisco and the colleagues mentioned, uh, uh, you can find all these resources, all these materials in the Let's Talk About Politics and Governance website to follow up uh, on this conversation. And this episode is also available in every podcast platform. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter and on our newsletter.